Hello commanders and welcome in part 12 of the American Empire series and today we are going to launch Operation Atlas. Operation Atlas is named after the famous Atlas Mountains in North Africa because this campaign and this operation will not only stop on the Moroccan lands here but it's going to expand through all of the North African lands. So let's go and carry on with Operation Atlas where we are going to start and declare the war on North Africa today. Meanwhile, we are continuing the invasion in South America, the last defenses in the Brazilian capital, Brasilia. There are Colombian and uh, Brazilian uh, infantry there in the capital. I'm going to use my air superiority fighters to kill them there. The good thing that they do not have on tier, so uh, I am free to use my ASF there to kill those infantry. Bolivia has fallen. All of his homeland cities have been wrecked with our tout arteries and multiple rocket launchers. Uh, they faced a huge bombardment there. I still have navies though that are uh, still surrounding the South American continent. You know, the navies that I am sending to Morocco, they are not all of my navies there. I have defenses in uh, my coastal cities of the United States of America and they still surround South America and those are our offensive units that are going to launch the campaign and Operation Atlas. The research of the attack helicopters have started and now I'm going to start our first aircraft carriers that I am going to name the Sin of Wrath. You know, the Sin of Wrath is uh, the sin of Meliodas in the legendary Seven Deadly Sins. So the leader of the Seven Deadly Sins is Meliodas, which is the Sin of Wrath. His second, uh, his second in command is going to be the sin of pride and the third is the sin of greed. So I am going to call my three aircraft carriers the sin of wrath, the sin of greed and the sin of pride, which is the three commanders of the seven deadly sins. And these three aircraft carriers, they are going to lead the giant American Navy. Let's go for the level four cruisers because we are going to max up our cruisers very soon. Uh, this is Morocco, that's his rank and he is only at war with Austria. His uh, level three naval base in Tangier is, have, has been damaged a little bit there. And now I'm going to send my navies to his coasts. Okay, now we are going to mobilize the Admiral Meliodas the naval officer of the American Navy. Now we are going to have the full naval package for the US Navy. The US Navy is going to face one of the greatest navies in this game where we are going to overwhelm all our enemies and all of the coalitions that exists in this map. Let's carry on and start now Operation Atlas with this naval radar where I am going to declare war officially on Morocco and in one single hit, I destroyed that naval radar which have been composed of destroyers and corvettes. The cruisers have uh, has automatically engaged uh, a tank battalion near Agadir. If there was only, if it was only infantry, our cruisers they cannot see it because uh, the radar of the cruisers in the land is high, so it can only see multiple rocket launchers, uh, tanks, etc. Only hard targets. I'm going to split my uh, land armies now. I'm going to send them five by five to uh, reach the coasts of Morocco very quickly. I kept them a little bit far in safety, not until I clear all of the Moroccan navies. So this is why I kept my uh, land armies there in the middle of that intersection that have been cleared with my navies there. Uh, of course, that position was secure and uh, scouted by my navies. This is why I kept them there. And now after I re-killed the first navy radar and uh, advancing with our navies from all the sides, I can make our, my land armies close and I'm going to make an entrance from Agadir. Of course, I'm going to take the Canary Islands. The Canary Islands, they are going to be important for us to build an airfield there, our logistics, etc. Europe is in chaos, is in total chaos there. These are our air superiority fighters waiting. They are only waiting for an airfield to be built in Morocco to go there. Uh, here, uh, the capital, uh, the island of Bermuda, which has been taken by Austria, and Austria actually building an airfield there. He is bold, he is courageous, even though he lost his homeland cities, but what was he thinking about? 
Like seriously, building an airfield near the coasts of the United States of America? Like seriously? Look at the economy of the United States. 68,000 tons. The closest one and the second one is Libya with 45,000 tons. You can imagine the huge gap between the first and the strongest economy and the second one. 23,000 tons in um, comparison here. Like, it's a tremendous gap. This is why we have been investing a lot in annexing our cities. We have annexed a lot in our arms industries and our economy. And now it is paying off. We are the first ones and very, very far from the second one. This is actually amazing. What we are doing here with the United States in this game is perfection. It's total perfection, guys. I was speaking about uh, Bermuda, which ha has been taken by um, Austria. I'm sending my stack of five stealth air superiority fighters to scout that um, to scout that island. At the same time, I'm going to send the frigate there. If he have any units, if he have anything, I can close up on him and secure that island. I do not want to declare war on Austria yet because I do not want a lot of simultaneous wars at the same time because that's going to hurt our morale. Now in Operation Atlas, we are going to try for the first time in the American Empire series, the cruise missiles. We are going to use our cruisers to launch the cruise missiles. They are still level one, so they are still under development, but that's a tank division in front of us. Our cruise missiles, they are going to be very strong against hard targets and they are going to be lethal there. It's going to be, it's going to help us destroy those naval uh, radars in the proximity and give uh, a secure passage for our land armies in the city of Agadir. The first one has landed and the second one killed the target. Tank battalion in Agadir have been eliminated by our cruise missiles. For now, as first moments, first seconds of Operation Atlas, we are going aggressively. It's going successful. I will gather my land armies near the city of Agadir. I will uh, advance my frigates there because you can only make a secure landing only by frigates because frigates, they have good on tier. If your enemy is going to use cruise missiles or going to use strikers on you, your frigates will be there to defend you. So the best landing in another continent is done by frigates. Put this in mind. By the time my frigates made it closer to the city of Agadir, it, um, it scouted some infantry. The radar now can see some uh, infantry there in the center of the city. I will advance to the city of Casablanca. There is also another land radar there. Looks like it is getting closer to us. Maybe it's artillery or something because it was in the center of the city of Casablanca and now it's arriving to us. So I'm going to cut the road with my uh, cruisers and start bombarding it heavily. As soon as our land armies they are going to land in the city of Agadir, I guess it's a checkmate for Morocco because uh, when I have max level multi rocket launches and uh, I build the near field and cover them with stealth air spirit fighters, I feel sorry for my enemy. I feel sorry for my enemy because he will be having no chance. No chance to beat me there. Also escorted with sounds, maybe he have cruise missiles, you never know. But we are strong. We are still early in the game. We are strong, we, are have, we have a good air force, a good land army. Now I am going to build the level five army base. Soon we will be having the missiles defense. Because in the last uh, videos, uh, some of our followers have suggested to start making the anti-missiles because it's very important and the United Kingdom possesses ballistic nuclear missiles. So in this case, I'm going soon to make the anti-missile systems to, to uh, defend ourselves from the ballistic missiles. Thank you guys for watching this episode and meet in episode 12. See you guys and bye bye.